Greetings and welcome to RimWorld. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have been playing this game in early access for around two or three hundred hours before it ever came to Steam, and I am just really excited to see what changes have been made upon its steamy arrival. Uh, so I know that there have been things like scenarios added and uh, addictions and drugs that you can create and a few new technologies. So I'm really just curious to kind of jump back into the game and see what changes have uh, sort of dropped from the sky. And in that vein, let us start a new colony. Uh, I think we'll go, wow, the crash landed is kind of the default setting that we've had for ages and ages. The rich explorer, one rich explorer out to explore the experience, the universe. That sounds difficult. Uh, I, I almost never have enough people. So let's start with a lost tribe. Uh, I know that we have, there will be things uh, like slower research projects, progress, uh, but that's okay. I'm going to have, start with this since it's one of the new scenarios. Let's go. All right. And I'm going to choose some challenge. I don't really like hard, hard games because this game can be extremely punishing. So let's go with some challenge and Randy random. I've tried Cassandra and Phoebe, but I don't know. Randy treats me right. So I'm going to go with him. <laughs> let's see what kind of a seed we want. Camel, Blackjack, Bonnie. Oh, that sounds very nice. Okay. Let's generate a Bonnie map. All right. So we have a very interesting looking continent here. I'm kind of in a mood for kind of like a jungle area, maybe. Or should I choose a forest? I don't know if we'll have access to things like air conditioning right away. So that could be rough. Uh, you know what? Let's have a go anyway. Let's try this and get, this is mountainous. Maybe we want like large hills. That sounds good. Marble and slate. Okay. I like when there's only two stone types um, because there's not a lot of miscellaneous stone floating around. It's a lot more easy to uh, get things going. And do we want to do advanced? No, I think we're just going to do a regular map size. I like generally playing on giant maps, but eh, I don't know if it's really that worth it. Okay, so here's the character selection. And as you know, this will take forever. So I'm going to cut the video here and come back when I have chosen a party. Okay, and I am back. Surprisingly, uh, a lot of these people, I don't think I changed many of them out because they actually had pretty good skills to start with. Let me introduce you to our guys. We have Black Goshawk. Um, he's a male member of the tribe, age 47. I liked him because he has pretty decent shooting skill, which he can upgrade fairly quickly because he has a burning, passionate type of learning. He also has a growing skill of 11 and the green thumb trait. We'll have to watch out because he's also a pe pessimist and he has a permanent mood effect of minus six, but it should be okay. Um, I've noticed that all of these guys have malnutrition, but that should be solved as soon as we get them landed on the planet and they can eat some stuff. So, um, looks like he has a stab scar on his left leg, um, but it's not causing him any pain apparently. Uh, so it should be all right. So then we have, uh, Valentinan Anastasi, who is apparently the chief. Uh, yeah, adulthood, he's a war chief, so he's incapable of doing a lot of stuff, but he has great shooting skill, great melee skill, um, and he has a decent so social score as well and research. So I think he's going to be useful in, in kind of some various ways. Uh, he likes uh, pros uh, prosthetics, and so we'll have to get him some at some point. He has a chemical interest, which uh, interested me because he might be falling victim to our sort of drug things that might be happening in the game. <laughs> I'm cu curious just to explore that avenue. And he's steadfast, meaning he won't go crazy as fast as um, other people might. Uh, his mental break threshold is minus 9%, which is excellent. Next, we have Banastra Lavego. He's Oh, she is a female member of our tribe, aged 40. Uh, she has a right, a scratch scar on her right leg. Um, she is a lazy, so her work speed is lower, but she's a teetotaler and a heat lover. So in the, um, in our, uh, our jungle atmosphere, she should be pretty good. We've got construction, burning passion and growing burning passion and animals as well. So She's kind of an all-rounder. Again, shooting and melee score are pretty high. Next, we have Choco Choco, uh, female, age 44. Uh, old gunshot wound in the left leg. 
she is heat tolerant and has a green thumb. Um, she has a high melee score, so I'll probably give her the club first or whatever we get uh, when we land. Fairly decent animal score. Um, also can do construction and growing. Kind of an all-rounder, incapable of none, so we're going to you know, really rely on her to put out fires and such things like that. And now we have Green Lavego. <clears throat> she is aged 53, and though she has a couple of scars, she doesn't have... Uh, any other major health problems and her skills are super high check out this animals 13 medicine 8 cooking 12 mining 4 with a burning passion lots of nice skills here she's heat tolerant a hard worker and psychically sensitive uh, that's probably the only negative thing um, but we could get her some kind of a I think there's a prosthetic that uh, fixes that uh, at some point so let us start the gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey on foot, with no close friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness, just like your ancestors did. Okay, that sounds bad. Hey, we didn't crash from a spaceship. That's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, it's a male fennec fox. And we have our dog, male Labrador Retriever. All right, let's unforbid all this stuff and wood and things and miscellaneous bits and pieces and see what we've got weapon-wise. Looks like we have, okay, this is pemmican. That's food and herbal medicine. We've got a spear, we've got silver. And let's see who our best archers are or ranged guys are. Shooting, 10, okay, you qualify. Your Val, all right, now Banastra. You also have a very high, well, eight, let's see. All right, Banastra also qualifies for a short bow. Go Shock, you, wow, you have a burning passion. I wanted to get you a short bow as soon as possible, but I think we're gonna give you a, possibly a spear or a pila. Let's see. Bundle of pila, non-reusable throwing spears. All right, and these are Pole arm tipped with a sharp point for stabbing in melee combat. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna give you the Pila. Ah, uh, well, let's see if we have enough weapons. Let's see. Okay, this green is not capable of doing any uh, killing of anybody. So Choco, you're going to get the wooden club. And I think for Goshawk, I will give um, him the, the, the spear. Oops, come on, click on this. Okay, there we go. Great, so let's see exactly where we've landed here. We have a fairly good sized map here. We have lots of walls and things and uh, a few of these swamps. Those are kind of funky. Ooh, what are those? Oh, monkeys. Oh, and here, what is this, a turkey? Oh, nice. All right. I wonder what kind of um, technology we have. Can we build things like what do you call this? Thing? Air conditioners. That's what I want to build. Is it not production? No power. No misc. No trap furniture. Hmm. It might be under power, and we just don't have it. Let me see if I have to research it. That could be it too. Yes, I know this thing. Okay, stone crafting, brewing, batteries, auto doors, smithing. Colored lights, pace, air conditioning. Wow, right there. You have to have electricity first. And where, where is electricity in this map? Well, we might have to set up something like, um, so where is electricity? Hello? it would list it either in order of complexity which it seems to have done uh, but it's not oh there's electricity that's interesting okay well that's probably what we are going to uh, get at some point but we may have to want to start an industry of something like you know growing devil strand and making clothes out of it so we can sell it to stuff oh here's some boomalope those are dangerous um, some turkeys oh oh hello who are you that's a cassowary 
Oh, cassowary, pretty looking thing. All right, let's get back to the business of finding a good spot. This looks fairly defensible, being that it's kind of surrounded by these mountains on all sides. That looks okay for a starting area. Uh, I'm thinking, just because it's also very convenient. These are monkeys, more monkeys. All right, let's go with that. I think we will just do that and kind of start building uh, in this area. Set out some, some fields and get a structure going. Uh, and wow, we're going to have to, I think we're probably going to have to make pemmican because I don't think it needs to be refrigerated. So that's one of the main reasons for building an air conditioning is to get things refrigerated. Um, you know what? And I think I will, uh, no, I'll do the priorities later. Let's, let's just get some things going first. All right. So let's build, wow. Sometimes looking at this map, it's difficult to plan things because it's just like, you know, blank canvas. What do we do with it? Uh, so can we build on the swamp? Not that part of it. Okay. So let's just build a room of some size. That looks okay. And a door maybe here and here. And I'm also wanting to build some, I want to build fields because we're going to need to build, get some food harvested and planted, of course. Growing zone. Oh, need warm, what? Need warm clothes. Is that what you just said to me thing? Okay. We're in the uh, jungle. <laughs> need warm clothes. Okay. I'm going to try to ignore that. I'm just going to assume it's being a little bit derpy and that's okay. So I think I want the fields maybe to go along this way. Let's just do that that way. That seems okay. Uh, I'm going to look for, do we have any, oh, this is rich soil here. Okay. So this soil I'm going to use for uh, devil strand, I think when we get to it. So I'm going to save that for that. Um, yeah. So we're going to say, don't allow sewing for that area. And I think all the rest of them, I'll just kind of have in a line over here. All right. Growing zone, kind of align it here next to this whole thing. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Let's do 10 by 10 plots. And I think I need to leave a one space thing between them. All right, so let's grow some stuff. What do we want? Potatoes. Let's grow, grow strawberries because that does not have to be cooked to give happiness. Just in case, smoke leaf plant. Ooh, what does that do? Ah, cultivated for psychological effects. Um, all right, you can smoke leaf can be prepared into joints at the crafting spot. Hmm. Let's choose something else, like, for example, cotton. Okay. And we also want to grow heel root because heel root is very important. There we go. Nope. It didn't change it for some reason. Heel root. There we go. And this one didn't change either. Okay. Let's go back to this. Go for it. And strawberry. All right. While these guys are thinking about doing this, Put the speed up a little bit. Um, oh, and I, I also want to make some beds for them too. That's pretty important. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six beds just in case we get a, a visitor of some variety. Come on, guys. I wonder if they're just not working because they're not assigned to work. Probably. There we go. Okay. So we're going to just do manual priorities on all these guys. Everybody who can firefight will firefight. I kind of wish there was like a, a thing that you could assign them all to number one priority. All right. Let's see. Doctoring. We have an eight, four and eight. We'll put these guys as a one on doctoring and like a four on these other guys that have some skill. Bed rest. Also number one. Oops. Flicking important. Um, flicking is turning on and off turrets and light switches and things like that. 
Wardening, uh, that's pretty important. So we'll have that as a one on the guys that need to. Animal handling, let's see, this has a three, seven, 13. Okay, you win on animal handling. Uh, I don't want anybody else to handle them. Uh, cooking, wow, that's gonna create a conflict. You know what, you're not gonna be a cooking, you're not gonna be handling. You're gonna be, uh, this guy, Banastro is going to be handling, and you guy are gonna be cooking. Hunting, I don't anticipate doing a lot of that, though the recipe for pemmican may require um, meat, so let's just make sure we can do that. Constructing, I think I'm gonna put that as a, a two for everybody unless they have something more pressing to do. Repairing also at a two. Uh, growing. So this guy's 11 and six. Go shock, are you the, you are, let's see. He's the green thumb. Uh, but they all have some nice growing, okay. Chaco and Goshok are going to be our primary growers, I think. Goshok, here you go, and Chaco. And then we'll put these down to four, just if there is nothing else to do. Mining is also one of those number two jobs that I want a lot of people to, well, maybe not everybody to do. We'll balance this in a bit. Plant cutting is also pretty important. I'm going to put that right after growing. I think these can go to a three. Constructing and repairing uh, until I maybe um, allocate specialists. And I forgot if plant cutting depends on, I think it actually does depend on growing skill. So I'm gonna put those for Goshok and Chaco as well. Um, smithing and tailoring, wow. Uh, I'm gonna take these off for now because I don't have any of those jobs to do at the moment. And then hauling and cleaning, I'm gonna leave those at, a th at a two or a three. Yeah, because constructing should come before that. <clears throat> and then research needs to be a number one for somebody. Wow, this one has, this guy has nine. Val has nine, but no interest. And this one has five, but burning passion. Let's see, you're a grower and you have, eh, not that many other things to do. Okay, so why don't you do this? Do it that way, uh, and that should work better. And then I think I will put Val as the chief, as, um, well, if he has this burning passion, hmm. Maybe I should make Chaco the researcher. Yeah, I think I will. And you can be number two, and then you're gonna be a smith, tailor, and crafter. And then art, who we have in art? Three, three, four, four. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's see, how about cooking and art seems to go okay together? That's not too bad. So why don't you do this when you're not doing anything else? Um, all right. I think I'll put these guys as four on a plant cutting thing. And that looks pretty decent for now. All right, go, go guys, go, proceed. Do your stuff, please build things. Do they need more wood? There is wood here, guys. There, there really is, I promise you, there's lots of it, lots of wood. All right. And they're building beds, that's really good. Oh, I'm glad I did assign that crafting because otherwise they wouldn't have been able to build the beds. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Yes, it's been a few months since I played the game, guys. <laughs> but I promise I'll get into it uh, very shortly. I know the beginning can be slightly uh, slow, but um, after this is set up, we'll get everything going and hopefully uh, things will go pretty well. Oh, this is new. Learning helper alerts forbidding doors. Okay. Not gonna forbid any doors just yet. Okay, they're building the roof. That's a new feature as well uh, after the scene release came out. Guys, <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna, of course, cut the plants in here because I do not want any of these um, trees growing inside. That's kind of inconvenient. What do we got here? Strawberries, excellent. 
Okay. And I don't think any of our colonists have special needs like, for example, um, like being a night owl or something like that. Okay. I'm going to mine out some of this, uh, what is this, compacted steel, I think? Yes. I find that incredibly amusing, to be honest, to, to mine steel from this, this place. All right. <clears throat> cool. Well, we have survived our first day. Uh, and unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so very, very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Skye. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next time.